Praise the Lord. Good morning. Greetings in the mighty name of Jesus. And it is a great joy and privilege once again, beloved and friends, to be here this Wednesday morning to minister the word of God. I trust the Lord. Everyone is in good health and happiness, regardless of our situation in the world. As I always say, beloved and friends, Jesus said in his words, Lo, I'm with you always. I will never leave you nor forsake you even unto the end of this world. Isn't that awesome this morning? Isn't that great? Isn't that mighty? Isn't that majestic that God himself promised to be with us in every situation, in every circumstances, in every trial, in every testing, in every storm, in every decision making? He said in his words, A thousand shall shall fall at thy side and ten thousand at thy right hand but no evil shall befall thee and no plague shall come by thee. Let's give him a big hand this morning. Welcome this morning. God bless you richly. Sincerely from my heart, I release a blessing upon your life this morning and I pray that God will bless you physically, spiritually, socially, materially, financially, educationally, every day in your life and whatever you do, it shall prosper in Jesus' precious and gracious and wonderful name. I pray this morning that I pray that God will bless your homes, God will bless your marriage, that God will bless your children. God will bless your finances, that God will bless your business, God will bless you on the job and give you favor and promotion on the job and whatever you do with your two hands, it shall prosper in Jesus' precious and gracious and wonderful name. Let's give him a big hand today. Hallelujah. Praise God. I cover everyone under the precious blood of Jesus and I build a hedge. I build a hedge around your life for the blood of Jesus is so efficacious and the blood of Jesus is so powerful. The blood of Jesus is a repellent that destroys every yoke and every bondage and every fetter and every evil and every work of darkness. This morning, my friends, every spirit of witchcraft, obia, demonic forces, evil blights, generational curses, with a first, second, third, or fourth generational curse, I break, I destroy, I reverse in the mighty name of Jesus, in the mighty name of Jesus, for whom the Son set free is free indeed. You are free this morning in Jesus. Let us give a big hand. Hallelujah. Praise God. Thank you, Jesus. Also, he said in his words, healing is the children's bread. And the first covenant he made with man was the covenant of healing. For he was wounded for our transgressions. He was bruised for our iniquities. The chastisement of our peace was upon him. And with his stripe, I am healed. You are healed. We are healed. In Jesus' name, let's give him a big hand today. Hallelujah. Healing belongs to the child of God today. Father God, this morning I pray that you dip me in the river of liquid fire of the Holy Spirit. Born out every sickness, born out every pain, born out every disease, every infirmities, every evil, and every work of darkness. Cleanse me and purge me and purify me, this mortal man of clay. Anoint me as I minister your words this morning. Your words will go forth with dunamis and power and the anointing of the Holy Spirit that many will be healed, many will be saved, many will be blessed, many will be delivered, many will be set free from all manner of sicknesses and pain and disease and infirmities and evil and every work of darkness. Let's give my big hand to them. Hallelujah. Praise God this morning, my friends. Why you should never tell anyone, yes, what you're up to, my friends. Yes, you should never tell anyone what you're up to today. Yes, my friends, praise God. Why is important? God wants you to be silent. Yes, Proverbs chapter 17, verse 20, it clearly tells us, even fools are taught wise when they keep silent with their mouths. Yes, shut them seems intelligent. Silence is a great virtue. Even a fool is considered a wise, as wise. When he keeps silent, you cannot judge people 
people until you hear from them. Yes, my friends, God wants you to know the right time to speak and when to keep silent. Yes, my friends, this is why Jesus commanded us to be wise as serpents, but as gentle as dove. Yes, my friends, Matthew chapter 10, verse 16 clearly tells us, Behold, I send, I send you out as sheep in the midst of wolves. Therefore, be wise as serpents. Be wise as serpents and harmless as doves. Jesus know the reality, my friends, of this world. But that unfortunately, a lot of believers do not know the world is an evil, evil place. Yes, my friends, the world owes you nothing and it is a ruthless place. Yes, friends, the world is a place that doesn't care if you are innocent. It's not a place that cares if you have good intentions. It's a place that will chew you up and spit you out. Yes, my friends, not everyone has good intentions in your life and that is the truth that is the truth no matter how good how wonderful you are yes the truth is not the truth is not everyone will like you and you will love and will love you and you Jesus lived a perfect life he lived a selfless life everything the Lord Jesus Christ did was for the good of other people yet he still had enemies are you hearing me today and people who wish him evil don't live live with a naive attitude that everyone you meet will love you or like you they won't my friends the Bible speaks of enemies yes the Bible speaks of the fact that you that you will have enemies psalms 23 verse 1 to 5 clearly tells us the lord is my shepherd i shall not want yes he makes me to lie down in green pastures he leads me beside the still waters yes he restores my soul yes beloved he leads me in the paths of righteousness for his name's sake hallelujah he do i walk through the valley of the shadow of death I will fear no evil for thou art with me thy rod and thy staff they comfort me yes beloved thou preparest a table before me in the presence of my enemies hallelujah praise God thank you Jesus you anoint my head with oil my father my cups run over yes notice what he says in Psalms 23 my God did not say he will eliminate all enemies. No, my friends, he said he will prepare a table before them. You have enemies, my friends. Yet, yes, but God will prepare a table before them. Yes, John chapter 15, verse 19, clearly tells us, 19 to 20 tells us, if you are of the world, the world will love its own. Yet, because you are not of the world, but I choose you out of the world. Therefore, therefore, the world hates you. Hallelujah. Remember, my friends, the word I said to you, his servant is not greater than his master. Yes, if they persecuted me, they will also persecute you. Yes, my friends, if they keep my word, they will keep yours also. Hallelujah. Yes, the more you are like Jesus, Jesus Christ, hallelujah, the more the world will hate you, and if the world loves you, you are like Jesus, my friends, Christ, the reason you should never tell anyone that you what you are up to is that there are people whose primary goal is to ensure you are not successful in this life, not everyone is for you, they will put you in the best, best to frustrate your good plans and give if you give them a handful of information about yourself there are people that will crush your dreams before it fulfillment if you tell them your dream some of them will never appear to be harmful until they have executed their evil plans hallelujah so you need to be careful my friends 
of what you see and the kind of people you share your dreams with. The scripture reveals clearly that the heart of a man is deceitful and desperately wicked above all things and that no one can discern it. Hallelujah. The life of Joseph represents a convincing story, my friends, of our golden silence is he had been telling his dreams to the wrong people. Yes, my fact, my friends, the fact that they were were his brothers did not make them the right people for Joseph to tell him tell his dreams concerning Joseph Genesis chapter 13 Genesis chapter 37 verses 9 to 11 says and he dreamt yet another dream and told it told it to his brethren and said behold Behold, I have dreamt, I've dreamt the dream more, and behold, behold, he says, the sun and the moon and the eleven stars make up sense to me, and he told it to his father and to his brethren. Yes, my friends, and his father rebuked him. His father rebuked him and said unto him, What is it this dream that thou hast? Yes, dream shall shall I in the I and thy mother and thy brethren indeed come to bow down yourselves ourselves to thee on the earth and his brethren envy him beloved and friends and his father observe the saying enduring word bible commentary states my friends the following regarding joseph telling his dream what he says if joseph was unwise to tell first dream knowing knowing how irritating it was to his brothers then it was worse to share the second dream my friends the second dream was likely to cause even more resentment because it set him not only above his brothers but also set him above his father and mother yes my friends and beloved joseph had a sort of pride command in the favor and the blessing he was so focused on how great his dream were yes my friends he didn't begin to consider how the dream will have sound in the ears of others. Though Joseph was wrong to tell these dreams, they certainly did come. They certainly did come true, my friends. One may receive a wonderful message from God that he does not intend them to publish to other. Joseph showed a lack of wisdom. He perhaps rooted in pride. Rooted in pride, not yet everything God shows you or gives you do in the spirit spirit is for you to announce to the world work on your dream in silence my friends you don't you don't need to announce it on a rooftop joseph dream will have never come true if god hadn't intervened after his brothers betray him yes my friends if joseph was wiser he could have avoided a lot of things in your life in your life be wise don't go around just talking and yapping away to everyone my friends you need to save yourself from the avoidableness hostilities and confrontations the truth remains that attacks are inventable for everyone however today it will be devastating Stating if an individual stirs up hostility against himself or herself because of talking too much, don't talk too much. Have you ever considered, my friends? that Mary, the mother of our Lord Jesus Christ, uh, never shared her experience uh, with anyone, my friends and beloved. Uh, the Bible didn't tell us uh, whether she told Joseph or not. Uh, it was the Lord that convinced Joseph uh, to take her as his wife uh, after she was found to have been conceived. Uh, a child in Matthew 1, 18 through 20. Uh, Bible tells us, uh, my friends and beloved, Mary, keep, uh, keep those things in her in herself otherwise the story would have been ended differently my friends the bible tells us in luke chapter 2 verse 19 but mary keep all these things and ponder them in her heart like mary lord yes my friends to keep certain things to herself some women will go about sharing all their family plans and outsiders 
this is very bad my friends they can become envious of you and find a way to break your marriage or shatter those plans wisdom 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 is important even in marriages don't be so quick to share secrets with your marriage about your marriage to other people. I'm not saying don't go to Christian counseling. No, what I'm saying, my friends, is don't just talk about your private matters to everyone. Finally, my friends, in all your conversation, the Bible tells us, let the Holy Spirit always guide you. Colossians chapter 4, verse 6 clearly tells us it's is, let your speech be always with grace, seasoned with salt, uh, that ye may know how ye ought to answer every man. Beloved and friends, hallelujah, praise God. Thank you, Jesus. Hallelujah, blessed be the name. Don't listen to anyone who tells you words don't matter. They do, my friends. They do, words do. They may not matter to you, but to God, my friends, Hallelujah, words matter today. Hallelujah, your words matter. If you're being saying words carelessly, my friends, or you are the type that talks too much, my friends and beloved, you need to start to control yourself. This is the time to speak words. Speak words that are edifying alone, my friends and beloved. Speak the words. Speak the words that will encourage people and not, uh, not put people in bondage. This is the time, my friends, to start speaking kind words and let goodness follow you. Hallelujah. Praise God. Irresponsible talking is not allowed in Christianity. If you will give, you will give an account of all you have said. Hallelujah. Don't curse yourself because you want to make people laugh. Hallelujah. Don't send yourself into bondage with your mouth because you want to entertain people yes my friends or you want to jump on a trend control hallelujah the words you say my friends hallelujah words words tell you whether someone has a good a good or bad heart my friends and beloved jesus tells us how we can judge a person character yes my friends in luke chapter 6 verse 45 clearly tells us he is a good man out out of the good treasure the good treasure of his heart bringing forth hallelujah that that which is good hallelujah praise god and an evil man beloved and friends out of the evil treasure of his heart bring it forth that which is evil today yes evil for of the abundance of the heart his mouth speak it hallelujah praise God thank you Jesus if you want to find out what is in the heart of a person today listen to them listen to them speak my friends we only need to ask what kind of fruit is produced out of your mouth hallelujah what do we have to compare our words with today hallelujah are they just rotten rotten eggs that we throw at others my friends and beloved which we shame annoying annoying and humiliate humiliate them my friends or are they the pieces of jewelry which we adore and honor my friends and beloved our fellow human beings Today, my friends, are our words, our words club, clubs that we will hit others over the head with or are they like a medicine today, my friends, that he wounds. Praise God. Thank you, Jesus. We should always have it, have it. We should always have it at the back of our mind that every word, every word, every action counts. Yes, counts on the judgment day, my friends. Every word, every Every action counts on judgment day, beloved and friends. Hallelujah. Praise God. Thank you, Jesus. Oh, blessed be the name of Jesus. This morning, before I leave, I have a few questions for you, my friends and beloved. But let me pray for you first. 
Hallelujah. Praise God. Thank you, Jesus. I know many are sick today unto death. Many are sick in the hospitals. Many are sick with all manners of sicknesses, all manner of sicknesses and pain and disease and infirmities and evil and every work of darkness. But the man of God is back here to tell you today, have faith, have hope, and have trust in the Lord Jesus Christ. You will not die, but you will live to fulfill purpose and calling and destiny because God has not finished with you today my friends no matter the report the doctors have given unto your relatives and family you will not die but you will live you will live to fulfill purpose and calling and destiny because God has not finished with you as yet hallelujah my friends and beloved Jesus took 39 stripes upon his back for my sicknesses and your sicknesses and pain and disease and infirmities according to medical doctors there are 39 major sicknesses pain and disease and infirmities in this world today but my friends Jesus Christ he was beaten with the cat and nine tail upon his back his flesh was ripped and his flesh was ripped from his back mingled with his blood on the floor he took it for you and for me let me go a bit further God created man out of dust and breathed into his nostrils and man became a living soul my friends and beloved yes there is no big deal for God to form you out of dust he knows every marrow every bone every joint every organ every tissue and every part of of your body just like the man who designed this watcher he knows how it's functioning he knows every part and how it's functioning inside my friends God knows us inside out there is no big deal for him to heal you this morning no matter what the sickness may be yes he can give you a brand new heart the person with the hole in their heart you have multiple heart attacks you will not die God will give you a brand new heart the man who has a swinge liver today because you drank too much alcohol you have a young wife with a few kids home you will not die god gonna give you a brand new liver and a fresh start in life the person with stage 4 cancer that cancer is burning out your inside right now if you're feeling a burning tonight yes if you're feeling a burning this morning God is the Holy Spirit is burning out that cancer you will not die but you will live those of you who have shut down kidneys and are waiting for months for someone to donate two kidneys my friends yes that kidney to you yes you will not need that kidney any longer because God is going to give you brand new kidneys today. He's going to heal you, my friends. Those who are blind going to receive their sight. If you're deaf, you're going to hear today. It's going to pop open. If you're dumb, you're going to talk today. Yes, whatever sickness, if you're suffering from depression, oppression, frustration, anxiety today, God is going to heal you and touch you and set you free today through the power of the Holy Spirit. Yes, my friends, if you have a mind headache and you're afraid that you will lose that job no you will not you will not go today is your day for a miracle God is touching you right now and that migraine headache is leaving that man and that woman right now in the name of Jesus those of you who are sick with diabetes you're pining away no flesh just bone and skin yes my friends you've lost so much weight God is touching your blood he's healing your blood from that diabetes he's restoring your health you will not die but you will live in the mighty name of Jesus yes my friends whatever sickness you have to deal with arthritis pain in your joints God is healing people from arthritis pain God is healing a man and a woman from that mental sickness that nervous breakdown that nervous wreck he's touching you right now he's restoring sanity and sound mind and a strong and healthy body in the mighty name of Jesus give him a big hand <coughs> hallelujah praise God thank you Jesus Yes, my friends, those who are demon possessed today, 
I command those demonic evil spirit, those harassing demons to leave right now. I command them to go in the mighty name of Jesus. My friends, I feel a tremendous anointing of God, the Holy Spirit in this place today. My friends, many are receiving healing right here this morning. Where are you watching me from this morning? From the USA, the UK, Canada, the Caribbean, or any part of this world. Today is your day for a miracle. Today is your day for healing. Today is your day for deliverance. Today is your day for salvation. Today is your day for victory in Jesus' precious and gracious and wonderful name. Yes, my friends, before I set for the anointing, I know many are already receiving receiving their healings but today I want to encourage you I have a few questions are you safe today is your name written in the Lamb's book of life have you accepted the free gift of salvation Jesus said in his words he's not willing that any should perish but all should come to repentance he came into this world not to condemn the world but the world through him might be saved God so loved the world that he gave his only begotten son that whosoever believeth in him should not perish but have everlasting eternal life for God came so low as to reason with man today he says come now come now and let us reason together saith the Lord though your sins be as scarlet it shall be white as snow though it be like crimson it shall be as wool my friends today god wants to save you yes hell is a terrible place yes very soon the trumpet of the lord will sound and the dead in christ shall rise and those who are alive and remain will be caught up to meet the lord god in the air and be with him forever my friends are you safe today is your name written in the lamb's book of life salvation is a free gift free gift today the work is complete jesus has finished the work no self-righteousness yes can send you to heaven no good works can send you to heaven salvation is a price that only jesus christ could have paid for our sins so humble yourself humble yourself repent from that pride of self-righteousness and holiness and repent and accept jesus christ as your lord and savior and you will receive and receive everlasting eternal life yes my friends right now right now I do not want to stray from what I'm seeing this morning yes right now in the name of Jesus I'm gonna send for the anointing people are already being healed yes but I send for the anointing are you ready wherever you are in your living room in your dining room in your kitchen in your car in your office on the street with your phone in church or right here we prepare to receive that miracle today prepare to receive salvation prepare to receive your deliverance prepare to receive your healing in the name of Jesus right now be healed in the name of Jesus be set free by the power of the Holy Spirit I see many are healed many are saved many are delivered many are set free this morning from all manner of sicknesses and pain and disease and infirmities and evil and every work of darkness beloved and friends it's the power of God it's the work of the Holy Spirit let's give him a big hand to me he is your healer right me text me call me go back and check with the doctors you are healed today that migraine headache is gone that growth in your stomach is gone that cancer has disappeared god has given you a brand new heart brand new liver brand new lungs brand new kidney yes god has restored you god has set you free from that depression oppression frustration anxiety yes so many miracles today write me text me call me and let me know what god has done for you my friends at the anointing of the holy spirit it has been a great joy a great joy and privilege to be here this morning to minister the word of god god bless you richly do enjoy the rest of the day in the mighty name of jesus amen and amen thank you jesus praise god hallelujah amen